Hi, good evening. Today I went to train museum with my son, and uh, so yesterday I went. Actually, yesterday I went to there. I went to train museum too, but uh, actually I couldn't enter the museum uh, because uh, the museum closed. The museum is closed at uh, five o'clock p.m. But uh, I don't know, I didn't know the fact. And uh, yesterday I went there at uh, 6.30. So that is why I couldn't enter. If I entered, if I had entered, I would haven't enjoyed very much. So that is why today, uh, yesterday I returned to home and my son was very, very disappointed at the that so but today so then i stopped i dropped by the gacha gacha area in train um, Busan station and i paid 200 yen and to let him do the gacha gacha and he get he caught uh some coins about uh, the train and uh, that is the uh, yesterday's memory so today was revenge day and I went to train museum with my son again after eating lunch at having lunch at Caesarea and uh, so we arrived at there at one o'clock and so today I have one purpose to go there because I wanted to purchase a annual passport to the train of the train museum so the train museum's annual passport was uh, stopped to be sold. So, but the, since uh, from today we can purchase it again. So I read the news uh, the day before yesterday, and I wanted to purchase it. And today I went there, and I could get the a uh, passport. And the passport uh, cost uh, five thousand yen, five thousand yen, and for that, and. Uh, 1,000 yen for a ch child, so the child who is uh, uh, less than three years, less equal than uh, uh, the children wh who is more equal than, uh, greater equal than three years old, so my son is five years old, so that's why he is cost worth 100, uh, 1,000 yen per year. And, uh, but actually, uh, I think that I, I moved to new town. So the new town was, uh, is very near to the, very, very near, for, nearby the train museum. And uh, I think uh, it makes our quality of life greater. So that's why I decided to purchase it. And in the train museum, so today always I go there. Uh, I go there in the morning, so I always uh, take. I always take lunch in the train museum cafeteria. But actually, always that was that was very crowded. But today I went there after eating lunch, so I don't need to take the take lunch at that at there, and uh, so. But uh, actually, I think many of family goes there. Many of family go there in the morning. So that is why. So afternoon. So that is not so crowded. So and we can throw around the museum very comfortably. And uh, out of the museum, uh, some uh, some equipment for children. And uh, my son was uh, uh, enjoyed there very much. So often, so every time I went to go, the equipment area was very crowded, crowded, and my son couldn't enjoy the such a place. But today the area was not so not so crowded, and he can he can get the uh, turn of his uh, turn uh, playing the such equipment uh, very early. And he could enjoy very much, I think. And in the train area in the museum, so
so you know there are a lot of all the trends and recently my son watched uh, watched the video of the history of train so that is why he was very excited at the uh, histor historical historical area of the train and uh, he always uh, he also told me that so he has watched the such uh, trains in the YouTube and sometimes he sang uh sang Tetsudo Shoka and uh, and so he looks like very happy and uh, sometimes he told me that the story of train uh, which is uh, uh, which is in the train museum and uh, recently I couldn't keep pace with him because his knowledge is getting lost getting uh, getting uh, his knowledge is rising rising up so and he sometimes read some books and YouTube videos of train and he re he really knows that the train's name and the train's series, for example, the 231 series, uh, which is uh, a commuter train in Tokyo area. So that's the reason I saw about the, such a series name. I couldn't, uh, I can't, I can't remember such a, a complex number and with uh, some reason. So that's why I couldn't uh, catch up with, with him. So his uh, growth is very fast, I think. And uh, so after, uh, after go around, go after throw around the museum and uh, he felt a little bit tired because he was ex excited and he ran around, he ran around the museum very fast and with some singing, with thinking that it's so sugar or something. So that's why I went to, uh, we went to the restaurant. So I, I think uh, at that time, the time was, the time was uh, maybe 3 o'clock, 3.30, 3.30 p.m. So the restaurant was so vacant. So I can, I can guess I could get the seat near to the uh, next to the uh, wind the large window, which is where we can see the train from the museum restaurant. And uh, uh, so the rest from the view of the restaurant, we can see the Shinkansen very near uh, nearby the restaurant and uh, he was excited again and I and my son purchased uh, two ice creams and the, the ice cream is a very famous one and the ice cream is uh, the, the ice cream was sold in the Shinkansen and that is very famous popular famous among the people who love travel because the ice cream is very hard and I think the name is Shinkansen no Katai Ice, Katai Shinkansen Ice, such, such a name, and uh, that's a nick, that, uh, that was our nickname, and I forgot the actual name, but the uh, ice cream was have been famous more than 20 years or something, and because when I was a child, the ice cream was actually, ice cream actually existed, so, and uh, I can find I, I can find the ice cream only the singer thing, but actually we could get it get it the, in the train museum. So the nickname shows that the ice cream is very hard, and my son couldn't uh, my son couldn't eat ice cream at first because that uh, that was too hard to um, to dig into by with spoon his spoon. So and uh, he was uh, struggling at the ice cream at first, but uh, after t uh, in hmm? two minutes ago, uh, two in two minutes, a uh, two minute in two minutes, and the ice cream was getting uh, softer, and he can he could eat very smoothly, and uh, you know some some people told some people in, in on the in, on the internet told that how to eat uh, the ice cream very easily. Uh, easily, so I read such some articles about the ice cream, because and the article says that the to pour to uh, you pour the coffee hot coffee into the ice cream is very easy way to make the such a hot ice creams, and uh, today I have a uh, iced coffee 
but uh, actually not the hot coffee. But uh, after uh, my son left the my son uh, left the ice cream. My son left the ice cream. My son left the ice cream. Uh, I poured the coffee into the his ice cream into his ice cream and to melt it to melt it and uh, uh, that was like that was like a hogard and uh, that was very very delicious and because uh, such as uh, like a coffee float i think so that's all goodbye see ya